Hey, it's your girl Dorsha and welcome to another episode of Cooking with Dorsha. Today, I'm going to share with you a hashtag Sunday supper. Yes, a simple meal that I am making for this Sunday supper, okay? But before we get into the video, if you have not, please like and subscribe to the channel, okay? And remember that on YouTube, sharing is caring. Okay, let's get right into it. So tonight, I'm going to do a fish. I'm going to do tuna, more specifically tuna steak. Bam, you see this? Now, I got this out of the seafood section of Walmart. It's wild caught, which means it's not farm raised. And they also sell them in the frozen seafood section, but I didn't want to go through that, thawing it out, so I got it already thawed and fresh. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to pan sear this and I'm going to show you what I do. But what you will need, get you some of that Montreal steak seasoning, but you know, I just don't have the, the, the name on there. But Walmart also has a brand of it as well. Don't pay attention to my fingernails because I, mean, I really need to redo them. Um, some onion powder, garlic powder, or maybe that was like opposite. Da, 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 da. <laughs> and uh, yes. And these right here, bagel seeds. So it's like black and white sesame seeds and poppy seeds. You're gonna need this for your um, tuna steak. Now, the other part of this meal will be, bam! Oh, my gardeners know what this is. Butternut squash, and I will show you how I um, derobe it. <laughs> I'm going to uh, take this layer of skin off of it. I'm going to peel it. I'm going to chop it. I'm going to saute it with some bell peppers and onion. And then when it's almost done, I'm going to bam, kale. Yes. It's going to be savory. Now, for that dish, you are going to need some complete seasoning. If you do not have complete seasoning, Stop talking about you a cook, shoddy. No, just joking. <laughs> Get you some complete seasoning, okay? It has like the whole little trinity of the onions and the garlic pepper and some more stuff, whatever. I am gonna do some butter. You see, this is great value, right? Walmart, holla at your girl. I can show you how to make Walmart meals, but just great value, I promise you. Okay, now so you're probably like, what's the starch, right? Like, I mean, we could just like roll with this, but uh, yeah, so you see these dinner rolls, they come in the frozen section and you let them thaw and, and let them rise. So that's what we have going on. So that will be the starch. I am contemplating doing a homemade apple crisp for dessert, but um, we'll see. But this right here, this is all that you need for your Sunday supper. Yes, Sunday supper is actually a thing. Yes. Um, Chick-fil-A is closed on Sunday, although everything else is open. However, you need to do a home-cooked meal at least once a week. And why not on Sunday? Time of fellowship and love with your family. So this will be our hashtag Sunday supper. And if you like it enough, thumbs up and then you try it and then tell me how yours turned out. All right, let's walk together through this process. So I took my tuna steaks and I rinsed them and patted them dry on both sides. And now I'm going to take them, put them on the plate. This is garlic powder. Onion powder. This is the um, steak seasoning. side, you do it on the other. So here we go again. Okay. Now you see all of this that you have left? Take that your edges. You see 
data. butternut squash and I actually um, rinsed it and dried it so now I'm going to take a knife and I'm going to take off the, ed the ends now this is a sharp knife if I were you I would use the same now I have a pillar so I'm going to take my pillar center. You don't have to. <laughs> That's what I'm choosing to do. Now, I just, because this knife is sharp, all I'm going to make for this dish but I will cut up the rest of this 
and save it for another dish. How about that? Because you know, you can actually, because I'm going to pan sear these, well, saute them really. Um, but you can also um, douse them in olive oil and um, roast them, which is probably what I'll do with the remainder. But it's just not going to be for this dish. I'm just cooking for two tonight. Um, so to me, it tastes like um, squash, and no, it doesn't taste like sweet potato, because that's the potato, but um, it has a nice taste to it. I've actually made butternut squash soup, um, and we like that. This is for one dish, this is for another dish, and there you have it, I'll put one, I said one, butter nor squash. This one here, I'm going to turn my heat down and let this simmer for a little while. Mm. 
Now, to finish this off, I'm going to add this nature seasoning. And this does have salt in it, so you do not need to get any uh, salt outside of this. And voila, there you have it. waiting on the hot yeast rolls. Ooh, that's gonna be so good. Butter, butter on top, yes. So what have I been up to? Well, I do have some more content to provide for you. I just haven't had an opportunity to edit. Ugh, I can't stand editing. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so I do have a video on sweet potato leaves and also a juicing video. But as you see from my shorts, I've been to um, the Fulton Films VIP reception and that was fabulous. I also have been planning my boss's 50th birthday bash that was at Zoo Atlanta and that was a stellar event and that went very well. And I have some other things that are going on with my job that I'm planning. Um, as we move into the month of November, we have um, two major events that I'm also planning. And then I also have my youngest son's 18th birthday and my oldest daughter's 18th birthday, my bonus daughter. And then we move into the month of December, my birthday, Sunday Backyard Farmer's birthday, our youngest daughter's birthday, Christmas. It's just busy, busy, busy. And of course, da -da 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 Christmas, okay? So yes, I'm trying to get through all of these birthdays, Christmas, Thanksgiving, all of this stuff, whatever. This is the time of year where it's like, don't look at me, I'm busy. I am busy, honey. Busy but productive. You can be busy and not produce anything, but I stay busy with purpose, okay? So, I need to plate this food up so you can know what it looks like, what it looks like. Okay, I made it do what it do. And this is the plate that I'm serving for my husband. You see that nice cheese roll right there? Mm -hmm. But this is my sample plate. So I did want you to see the tuna in the middle is slightly pink, it's not red. A lot of people like theirs looking bloody red. And then over here you have your kale, your butternut squash, and your veggies. There's the yeast rolls. When the yeast rolls came out, I put butter on top. And I also have some butter on the inside. So, let's see what this tastes like. Mm. I'm gonna get them. Now, the butternut squash actually tastes more like a potato as as it, is, as it is prepared in this dish. And then the peppers and the onions give you like some robust flavoring in between that kale that is nicely sauteed and all of this is wonderfully seasoned. Mm. Take some of this salmon, I mean, <laughs> some of this tuna. Perfect compliment. Absolutely perfect compliment. The tuna is meaty, right? So it's almost so like you just had a little steak. No pun intended because it is a tuna steak, but I'm like serious about it. And that butter and olive oil 
it seals in the flavors that you encrusted it with. And then you have these nice vegetables right here. And wait a minute. Although we did not make this, you see that stain coming? I'm telling you, this roll right here. I feel it in my shana na. Willie, Willie Moore Jr. Yes. <laughs> mm, I could sit here and eat this whole plate for you, but I won't um, do the disservice, whatever. I'm being enjoying it. Mm. I want you to try it for yourself. If you have not had tuna steak, get some. Inexpensive at Walmart. Now, if you're on another level of planning and understanding and you want to take it up a notch, there are some more expensive cuts of it and you can do it that way too. It doesn't make a difference. At the end of the day, it's tuna. They cut into little steaks. Get it? Mm. Try something different. It is wonderful. And add a new vegetable, a new squash into your palate if you haven't already tried. But a nice squash. There's plenty of them. I got mine from Publix. I'm not ashamed to say Publix, even though they're not paying me. Because sometimes people need your help. They need to know where you got stuff from. Stop keeping it. <laughs> ah, but I understand. You're like, if they ain't paying me, I'm not advertising. But it's just amazing how many people are riding around with on their uh, license plate where they got their vehicle from. I mean, like, yeah, that's advertisement that I don't do for free. Okay, okay, especially when you driving an eighty hundred thousand dollar car and you're just like, um, did y'all help me with this car? No, are you helping me? Did you give me something off? No, so I don't care if your car costs five thousand dollars unless they hooked you up and gave you ninety percent off. Don't be advertising where you got your car from. Okay. <laughs> Now, where you get your groceries from, that's a different deal. So, like, um, Publix, they are good for the BOGO. Buy one, get one free. Walmart, anytime, great value. I'm telling you, there's no difference. If I come over here and make you a meal with great value, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference if it was designer, name, brand, label, or great value because it's the cook. You know what I'm saying? It's the cook that makes it taste good. It's just like fashion, right? I could have on something cheap or expensive. It's the person who makes the fashion, not the fashion that makes the person. That's another level of understanding. <laughs> anyway, I've been watching too much, you know, Wu Tang, you know, the American, um, you know, series. But um, anyway, <laughs> until next time, hashtag Sunday Supper tuna steak with butternut squash veggie medley like i said subscribe and on youtube sharing is caring so until next time hashtag cooking with door chef.